I'm Rin, my pronouns are they, them, and today is a floss tube extra. So not a regular floss tube, I'm not going to be talking about all of the usual stuff I talk about. I wanted to do this extra because next month I am planning on doing sort of a little special event stitching thing. So I know a lot of people in the month of May do mania, so I'm doing sort of a variation on that. I'm doing something that I'm calling spooky, spooky mayhem stitching. Put a little, I'm gonna have a little hashtag with it and everything. So if you're wondering what that means, for me, I am going to be working on 13 uh, spooky projects. So they'll be Halloween themed. I do have a few fall themed projects in there, but predominantly it's a lot of Halloween themed projects. So I thought it would be fun to kind of put it out there and see if anybody else wanted to do that in May. Because I mean, it's like a lot of people do mania, but I mean mayhem, it's right like in the words. So plus that sounds more spooky and uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Anyway, so I just want to put that out there. If you want to join me, you don't have to start 13 projects. I'm not too worried about that. If you just want to work on one spooky thing, because I know some people do monogamania or whatever, monogamy, and just work on one project all month. So you probably already have that picked out. But if you're not sure what you might want to do, and I know it's just a week away, so you might already have plans, but if you have anything spooky planned, then you can just say you were planning on joining me. Uh, I'm cool with that. <laughs> so that's about all I have to say about that. There's one other thing I'm planning for next month, which I figured I'd talk about before my next floss tube. I'm doing a birthday stitch along if you'd like to join me on that. So my birthday is next month and I have decided to do a small little uh, pattern. So I went to work on a little birthday Bulbasaur. So this pattern is from So Nerdy by Brie. And I'll put a little picture up of here what he looks like. And he's really cute. <laughs> so I'm going to start that on May 20th. So if you want to join me doing that, you can use the hashtag birthday Bulbasaur. Because <laughs> that's easy to, you know, do. <laughs> But it's a small, quick little pattern. I usually get these done in like two days of dedicated stitching. So it's a fun little thing if you want to join me. Or if you want to stitch some other Pokemon or some other type of Bulbasaur. That's cool. So um, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> okay, I figured I would also take this video to show you the projects that I'm going to be working on this month. Because I figure some people might be interested and you might see one that you want to do and uh, try next month. So first I'm going to start with my whips. I've got three whips and all the other ones are going to be new starts. So I've got this one, Autumn and Stars Hollow. I don't have the project here with me, but this is the the pattern. Came out with the, uh, the Stars Hollow box last year. And I started on it and then I sort of haven't been back to it. So this is kind of me pushing myself to, <laughs> to do it. Uh, another one I have is this fall window and I've gotten reasonably far on it. And I'll try to remember to put a finish, like what it's supposed to look like finished picture up there. If I can, uh, I should be able to find one somewhere, but I want to get back to that. I have, the summer and winter ones done. So I'm trying to get the other two done. Get some work on that. And my other whip is one. Oh, see, I opened this for my video so I wouldn't have to make the zipper noise. And then I, um, then I zipped it. So this one is one you've probably seen around online. It's the Witchy Stitchers Cryptid Sow, which I kind of got derailed halfway through. And I would like to at least make some progress, maybe get a few more cryptids on there. Um, my goal is to work at least one day on each project, maybe more. I'm not really setting any strict rules. So one that I don't have a picture of to show you, so I'll just put that in here. I'm doing 
a little fall themed pattern by the Stitchy Princess. I think it's called the Acorn Fairy. So I'll put a, a picture of that up here because it's a PDF so I don't have anything to show you. Okay, so that, that one's gonna be cute and, and pretty quick, so that's good. A lot of these are kits that I got from Halloween Box. I just have Mill Hill kit in here. So we've got this one from Michelle. It's a Bendy Stitchy. It's the designer. And it's Hilde's Chupacabra Campout. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh, it's cute. That's really cute. It's a, it's a fairly, like, not, not too big of a design. I think that's fairly doable. So, let's start that one. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, I've got this really cute little autumn harvest. It's a Mill Hill Beads kit. And it says, come stitch for a spell. It's got a little crow on there. So cute. I love that one. I've had this kit for a little while. I keep needing to start it. And I was finally like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to freaking start it. Okay, I'll show you. So this is from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine that came out last year. I'm going to try to be careful because it's hard to show these and not show the, the pattern. So I've got Ghoul Whip Hot Chocolate. So this is a really cute little one. I really like this one. And it's very simple, not a, not a ton of colors. So that's nice. And then my other one is called Current Mood. And this is by Autumn Lane Stitchery. So you can see it's got a pumpkin and a cat. So it's happy, afraid, cat, angry. <laughs> that's another one that I just thought is just like too cute, too cute. Love it, love it. Okay. What else have I got here? So another one I have. This is from Silver Creek Samplers. It's called Flying Lesson. I'm trying to take it out of here so hopefully it won't be too I'm trying to show anything. So you can see this is a really cute little sampler. Uh, this is another one that I got as a kit. I mean, watching my channel, you probably know these aren't things I'd usually go out of my way to buy. Not that I have anything against them. It's just usually not things I think about stitching. But since I have the fabric and the floss and everything, you know, I figured I should, I should do them. Okay. Next one is another Autumn Lane stitchery. So this is a Baba Yaga or Baba Yaga. I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what is correct, but this one is really, is really neat. And I like a lot of Autumn Lane's patterns and it came with this really, oh, this really cool fabric. I've got, no, oh, you to be kidding me. Okay, so, so this fabric is from Be Stitch Me Catacombs. And it's, oh, look at that, that's so cool. <laughs> that is gonna look really creepy. I like that one. Okay, so there's that one. Then I have another one by the Witchy Stitcher. This is the Ghost Stories. So cute, love it. Also has some really cool fabric. I'm not gonna pull that out because it's wrapped in cellophane and it's gonna crinkle like mad. Okay, and another one for the Black Needle Society. The Spooky Stories bookmark and scissor fob. So I'm just gonna work on the bookmark. I'll probably save the, the scissor fob for a later time. So that, that one sh should go pretty quickly, honestly. It's, it's not a super one. And then I think the last one I've got here, this one, kind of sort of fits in. I just really wanted to start this one. I've had the pattern for a while. I haven't been able to start it. So it's uh, Be Like a Crow. So I bought this and it came with this silk gauze to stitch it on in 40 count. And I didn't really know much about that sort of thing when I got it. And I got it and I was like, what is so teensy? And I thought about it for a while. Oh no, it's a 35 count silk, whatever. But you're supposed to stitch it over one. And I'm just like, yeah, it's not, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. 
But um, it says in there, be like a crow, collect shiny things, hop happily down the street for no apparent reason, scream loudly when you see your friends. And I just <laughs> I love crows and ravens, and I thought that was really cute. And it kind of has that creepy, spooky vibe aesthetic. So I was like, ah, it's, it's, I can get away with one, right? I really like that one. I was like, oh, who was the, um, let's see who the, Erica Michaels, needle, needle art designs. That was, you probably saw them I put up there. So. Uh, and it comes with other things for making other like little pillows and smalls and strawberries and stuff. It's, just, it's got, it's, it's really cute. I like stuff like that. I think that is everything. That should be 13 projects. If I, if I remembered everything and counted correctly, I counted a couple times, so I hopefully got it right. So that's all the stuff I'm working on. It'd be really, like, if you have been looking at any of those or if you saw any of this that you liked and you'd like to get together for next month, that'd be really cool. Maybe write down in the comments if there's you're working on any of these and maybe this gives you the motivation to finish some of them or work on them and uh, just make sure you go on Instagram use the hashtag if you're going to participate and if you are yay <laughs> it won't just it won't just be me doing my own weird thing like I usually am I mean I, I usually am but it's fine but I have seen a few people thought that you know I know a lot of people that spook a lot of stitchy stuff all year long and I do sort of some of that and some of other things, but I thought it would be nice to kind of focus since I have a lot of these projects as kits to make some progress on them and, uh, you know, just at least get them started. And I'm, I, I realize now this things like this made me realize, oh, this is how people have 50 whips or 80 whips or, oh, oh God, 100 whips. I just, I don't even know where I'd put all that. I don't know how how you do it <laughs> don't know good for you i'm like getting mildly anxious at this point <laughs> i'm just trying to remember it's just like the fun and the process and i do finish stuff every month so it's not like i'm not getting anything done but yeah it does start to become a lot of things but i do have some several finishes to show you in my next video so that'll be out probably a few days later than I often do because I'm not going to be able to do stuff right at the beginning of the month and don't forget the next part of the Kingdom Hearts stitch along will be coming out on Wednesday I have to put it out a day early because I can't put it out on the 28th so bonus you get a day early and other than that I will see you in my next video and absolutely tag me next like tag me next month or use the hashtag next month because I want to see your spooky stitching. <laughs> All right. I will see you next time. Bye.